looking for the song. I'll talk about a couple more things. Um, there is a, um, there's a lot of talk about, um, the, um, um, Hold on, sorry. Uh, there, there's a lot of talk about how people are often talking about like Mr. Midnight Movie and people like that on their shows and how in the past I talked about how most people in the United States are who are on welfare or whatever are black or black women or whatever. And the truth is most people on welfare are actually Caucasian. Um, this came out last week. Um, the latest statistics show that most people who are on welfare are actually Caucasian now. So um, I don't know what they're going to say now about black people, but... I get really tired of hearing about all these fucking people who are constantly fucking, you know, I don't, what, what am I trying to say? Just fucking uh, going, you know, to, to town on, <laughs> in a bad way, I mean, uh, on uh, black people or Hispanic people just because they're different and um, continually perpetuate old racist stereotypes that are not true for the most part and are completely and utterly ridiculous. And so I get really fucking tired of that shit. So hopefully people will, you know, know what is real and what is not real and look at statistics, look at, look at the facts. And so when somebody tells you shit, like for example, on that guy's show, for example, Mr. Midnight Movie, for example, he just says shit out of his ass. And he's not the only one, okay? There are many people who have shows like um, um, on that had it on BTR as well as on Spreaker and other shows who say shit. And they're talking about, you know, oh, this is the truth. This is the way it is. Or black people are this way. Or here are the statistics. Or, da, 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 or white gay people are this way. Here are the statistics or whatever. It's like the fucking Pope, by the way, who just said that fucking gay people go around. Not the Pope. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Fucking, uh, what's that goddamn idiot's name the fucking televangelist what's his name i can't stand him um what is his fucking name oh my god david you did it you talked about him not oral roberts but uh what is his name hey desert nice to see you do you know what i'm talking about uh um david anyway this televangelist i can't remember his name not oral roberts but the other asshole he said that gay people go around with a ring um, that has a, like a stud on it or something that cuts people's hands and to give people AIDS when they shot Pat Robertson. Thank you. Pat Robertson said that gay people go around with a ring that when they shake people's hands will cut them so they can transfer AIDS to them. I mean, this is how ridiculous these people are. These people are so fucking stupid and people believe these people and follow them and, and, and have complete faith in them and actually think that these people are fucking telling the truth. And this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the show, blind faith. Blind faith is the most ignorant thing anyone can have. Blind faith is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And so just to follow what somebody says, like Pat Robertson of the 700 Club or whomever it may be, um, or your pastor, your priest, your rabbi, uh, um, a congressperson, a senator, the president of the United States, the queen of England, whatever. Whatever they fucking say, it is... It needs to be checked out, people. That's why when somebody says something to me, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, like some things I know are complete bullshit, right? Some things I know are complete bullshit when they, I hear them. And half the shit that comes out on Mr. Midnight Movies, uh, you know, show, that's what I know are bullshit. But um, sometimes I don't always know if what they're saying is true, like a statistic or something. And so I need to go check it out. And I go to, to sources that are um, unbiased and not nonpartisan, like... Uh, politifact.com for example which will tell you especially when it comes to politicians and things what's true what someone has said is true or not like they have a little meter it says like pants on fire a complete lie or like mostly true or somewhat true or totally true or whatever and so um if if president obama says something if a congressperson says something whomever it may be you know you can go to sites like that and say Hmm, that doesn't sound right to me. Let me go see for myself and then decide for yourself what's true and what's not. Don't just take f someone's fucking, you know, word for it. And so, I don't know. It's always been easy for me to question authority. I've done it all my life. It's like something in my blood. It's been ingrained in me somehow. Certainly not by my mother or my family because they are definitely people who follow rules, okay? I've always been the black sheep of the family. Ha, ha, ha. I've always been the black sheep of the family. I've always been completely, um, you know opposed to authority. So I think that's one of my best qualities because I always question what people tell me. I don't just take it for 
the truth. So I just wanted to say that before I left. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight on Brain Purge as we talked about nothing and and discussed nothing and um, the Seinfeld of shows, I guess. So I appreciate you coming out and listening to the show. I will be back tomorrow with Gay Mass. And don't forget, if you want to win your own T-shirt, um, you can come to the show. It's Gay Mass shows or Off Limits shows shows. And you can uh, call in because those are call-in shows. And you can talk to me about whatever the topic is and give me your opinion on the matter or whatever. And uh, we can go from there. Um, and then once you've done that, at the beginning of each show, you will hear a secret word. All you've got to do is listen from the beginning. And once you've heard that word, uh, when you call in, you're the first caller to call in and you give me that word, I will send you a free Off Limits Show t-shirt absolutely free. So you just got to tell me your size, the color you want, whatever, and it's yours. So hope that something you guys will take partake in. It's a way to say thank you to my listeners who listen to the show and also to get more people to call in because I like people to call in sometimes, you know? So, um, thanks for listening and I'll be back, uh, tomorrow. Good night.